welcome to the Chris Gethard Show. Playing us in, as always, the greatest house band in the history of public access, the LLC. With internet liaison, Bethany Hall. The creature from the sea, the human fish. America's favorite twin, Brandon the messenger bag. The baddest man of jam on the block, Janet O'Neill. <laughs> with Mike from Cornell. Music by the World Inferno Friendship Society. I'm Murph. Remember, Gimbal, I'm coming for you. And now, our host, Chris Gethard. All right, welcome everybody to the Chris Gethard Show. I'm your host, Chris Gethard. Very, very exciting night here. I think we can feel a lot of excitement in the studio. Mimi on the hoops is using the light-up hoops. Always a sign that there's a lot of positive energy going on. Bethany, how are the chat rats feeling about tonight's episode? They're good. They're shouting dildo. They're shouting dildo. That makes no sense. That makes no sense at all. Now, Shannon, yes. uh, a couple weeks ago, we had an episode where we talked to various viewers on Skype, and the very last call was a young man named Mike who showed us through the Cornell Library. Our audience flipped out. They yeah. loved this little look at the... Flipped out more than when the dog showed up. Yeah, they loved the dog, and they really loved the library. So we said, if they like that, why not immediately give them too much of it? So for the next hour, we will be exploring the Cornell Library in an episode we are calling Mike at the Library. <laughs> All right, Mike, welcome to the show. Hello, 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 hello buddy. Mike, good to be here. Okay. Now, Mike, you told me before the show started, we were testing Skype, you said there's about 15 people that have showed up at the Cornell Library. That's correct. Does everybody <laughs> want to come in real close? Okay, these are all the people hanging out at the Cornell <laughs> Library. Now, Mike, how many of these people are actual students of Cornell? Uh, I don't know, seven? Seven, so we've yeah. got seven. And do we have Ithaca students there? Because Ithaca's also yes. there. Okay, now who are the random people that are not college students that are hanging out in the college Woo! library? Just your graphic designer. <laughs> Andrea Streeter, our graphic designer. Wonderful, so we got a library full of college students. So Mike, what is the likelihood that you will be kicked out of this library for this behavior before this hour is up? Sorry. Right now, I'm gonna say 37%, but that could shoot up very high at any moment. <laughs> okay. you tell me very to specific. 37%, I like that. Mike is a man in a tie who doesn't mess with vague bullshit. Mike, uh, what right. has the reaction been by the security staff, the library staff, as people have shown up in masks and holding signs? Uh, well, I don't think we've ever really seen this kind of behavior before, so we'll see. Okay, tell that Nobody one guy to stop trying to get yet. Adidas plugs in. That guy in the sweatshirt <laughs> is trying to get plugs for the Adidas shoe company in in the back, and we can't, we can't have him plugging Adidas. All right, or, Mike. Yeah, because you'll just keep saying Adidas over and over I know. again. <laughs> It'll get you don't worse and worse. Have to keep saying Adidas. From there. Okay, so Mike, what do you or those people there, what are the central... Uh, factors of the Cornell Library that you think we should know about as you take us on this uh, virtual tour? Essential factors? Yeah. Uh, that's a good question. We have a lot of books. Okay, a lot of books. Uh, uh, there's, yeah, there's a lot of people studying, a lot okay. of people who speak English as a second language or not as Mike, a language Mike, can you find us one of those people? <laughs> can you yeah, find us an English as a second language person? Ask them what language they speak, and we will try to match them up with a language speaker in our audience, and we'll see if we can't get a match and allow them to have a conversation in their native tongue that we don't understand. <laughs> Please, find idea. someone who speaks uh, uh, Greek or Portuguese or something that, that I don't or know. Or Spanish. And we'll see if anybody here. <laughs> Please, send, send some of your minions. Send some of your 15 minions to find someone who speaks a foreign language. We will link them up. That's our first assignment, Mike, at the library. Let's find okay. someone in that find library with a foreign who language. can speak to us in a foreign tongue. I think that's a great start. That's okay. a great We've start. got somebody searching. We'll see how okay. it goes. Can we please talk to that guy in the mask and what appears to be leather gloves? Yes. <laughs> Sir, yeah. who are you and what is your deal? Oh, uh, I, I actually called in. I was the guy who juggled. Oh. Wait, when, when was the juggler? Oh, okay. All right. Welcome back. Welcome back, juggler. Thank you. Now, what led to your choice in masks tonight? Oh, it was actually Mike's. Mike is the fucking mastermind of this whole thing. Okay. 
Is the guy who spewed bigotry there in the library? No, that guy was from Florida. Oh, yeah. There was a guy in that episode yeah, of who was Go just from Florida. We haven't even touched base with our friend from the sea right now. Human fish, we're right now experiencing a world of higher education. As we do so, what's on your mind? Rodney Dangerfield huh? versus Rover Dangerfield. <laughs> Rodney Dangerfield versus Rover Dangerfield. Who, who wins? Dog counterparts always win. <laughs> Rover oh, wow. I get it. Wow. A hard and fast rule. So, Rover Dangerfield is the dog version of Rodney Dangerfield. <laughs> <laughs> the, the chat rats like your haircut. The chat rats like the human fish's haircut. Look at that fish. Well done. It looks to me like we've got some action up at the library. Mike, any okay. sign of that foreign language speaker? Okay, yes. Chris, we found someone who, makes, who speaks Hindi. Uh, do we have anybody in the audience who speaks Hindi? Anybody who speaks Hindi here tonight? Okay. Oh, wait, I'm seeing somebody pointing. Are people pointing at each other now? Yeah, they're being racist. <laughs> no, you were a deceptive and Indian enthusiast. Okay, we have no one who speaks Hindi, but please allow that Hindi speaker time? to say whatever Why? they want. <laughs> <laughs> please, that person can say anything they want in Hindi. If you are watching our show and you understand Hindi, call us up. Let us know what they said. Let them know there are no content restrictions. There's no language restrictions. Please, spout off in Hindi, say anything you want. Welcome to the show, what's your name? Hi, aapka naam kya hai? Mera naam Disha hai. Yes! Yeah, keep going, keep going. Main kya kar rahi hoon? Mere ko nahi pata, main kya kar rahi hoon. Okay, okay, go bigger, go bigger. I wanna hear passion, I wanna hear more passion. Oh wait, who's this? Now we've got someone speaking Thai. Thai, anybody here speak Thai? Yeah! Oh, we have a Thai speaker! Come forward, come here, come here. Okay, hold on one second. Okay, hello, hello. Now, now, to our person who's speaking Thai in the Cornell Library, what's your name? I'm Nico. No, 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 hold on. What's your name, what's your name in the library? Rina. Okay, welcome, this is Nico. You're gonna have a conversation in Thai. Let's everybody be quiet. Nico, it's up to you whether or not you want to tell us. Just angle yourself this way so our cameras can catch you. Please, let's go ahead. Let's start up a, a Thai conversation. Half in Manhattan, half in Ithaca, New York. Let's get it going. Thai so conversation. That means hello. Lon Mag. Keep going, keep going. Yeah, I only killing. know a few words. You're killing it, Nico. <laughs> You're killing it, Nico. Uh, Jesus. Uh, say something really fucked up. Say something, <laughs> say something super fucked up. In Thai. I can in say something. Uh, Mimi has something in Thai. Nico, thank you. Okay, Mimi on the hoops will now say something to you in Thai. Okay, Nico, well done. Okay. She's here. Badang, ba ba bo bo. It's say, say, <laughs> say, <laughs> ba ba bo bo. What if you told her to have an abortion? <laughs> Farang ba ba bo bo. Does that mean anything to you? <laughs> oh, was that something bad? <laughs> was that something vulgar? <laughs> can you guys still hear me or no? Yes. Yeah. Yes, we can yes. hear you. It just sounds like you don't want to reference Farang ba ba bo bo. <laughs> Seems like you don't want to deal with whatever that well, means. We have a few dialects, so. What's that? We have a few dialects. Oh, we have a few dialects. dialects. Oh. So who knows what Farang Baba Bobo means? How do you say dildo it's, in Thai? Oh, we gotta stop. Tell the chat rats to stop with the dildo thing. Okay, let's go to the phones. Let's get a question about Jacob in Westchester. Jacob in Westchester, welcome to the show. Jacob, are you here? Uh, hey. Say hey, hi, Mike in the line. Okay, Jacob, do you have any questions or challenges for our crew who's hanging out in a library in Ithaca, New York right now? Uh, no. Language? No, you don't have to. Huh? I think we've moved on from that test. Jacob! Well, Chris and Cornell, actually. Okay, Jacob, I'm not sure what's going on. Tell us what you want. I want to connect with you real bad. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Jacob, thank you so much for the call. <laughs> We're going to go ahead. We're going to move on. I apologize for that. Out of the gate with the phone calls. Okay, who has a challenge for Mike and his gang in the library? Anybody? Anything you want to oh, lay out God. there? Okay. Like the idea. A random audience Shall member. Yeah. Okay. Can, can he reenact something from the Breakfast Club? Okay. <laughs> Mike, this is a good one. What's your name? What's your name? 
What's that? Dana, Dana in our audience has asked that you guys over at Cornell reenact a scene from The Breakfast Club. Go. Okay. I've never seen The Breakfast Club. Mike's never seen The Breakfast Club. Mike, you're being resoundingly booed. Okay, who can, who can give us a monologue from The Breakfast Club? Okay, we've got somebody who's doing something. I'm not quite sure what. But I'm Someone sure is doing something. We're not quite sure what. Probably some old janitor. Let's go ahead. Let's do it. Let's see who we can get. To the window? Okay. Something's happening. <laughs> this window. Okay. <laughs> what? It's Judd Nelson. <laughs> oh, okay. So they're setting us up. Okay. I, I haven't the faintest idea what's going on right now. I don't know what's going on either. Mike, I need you to be in control up there, man. Jesus. Oh, wait. This guy's doing something from the Breakfast Club, I think. What are these guys doing? Oh, you forget about me. Hold on, hold on. Forget about me. <laughs> okay, yeah, that was uh, that was underwhelming, Mike. Uh, tell, tell, tell people they got to come. Tell people they got to come more correctly. Never seen the film. That's okay, Mike. It's not your fault. You're you're the best. You're the best, and whoever that person was failed. Uh, you're the, you remain the best. Now, Mike, can I speak to an Ithaca student, please? An Ithaca college student. An Certainly. Ithaca college two student. Sitting yes. right next to me. Okay. Wait. Hello. What's your name? Hi, I'm Talia. Talia, welcome. Great, this is my roommate, great, Brennan. Great Hello. to see you. Okay, now you guys are from Ithaca. Tell us honestly, what is your opinion of Cornell students? Um, okay. Well, some plug of, your ears, guys. Yeah, guys, plug your ears. Uh, no, don't plug them, your ears. Don't plug your ears. You listen to the cold, hard truth. <laughs> um, I work at a bagel store here. And some of them are snobby. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay, so let's give the mic back to Mike, please. Let's give the mic back to Mike. Now, Mike, you're a Cornell student. Ithaca kids think you're snobby. What do you think about... I couldn't agree with them more. Wow! <laughs> wow! I, okay, I, so you I, also sure, agree that I Cornell agree. kids are snobby. Now, Mike, what do you think of Ithaca students, though? Do you think they're just a bunch of low-class trash bags? Uh, I think a significant amount of the people on campus do, but frankly, I admire the Ithaca students. Mike, you're the most charming fucking guy I ever met in my whole life, man. No, I really do. They don't have a terrible attitude. They're fun. They uh, like better music and art. Okay. <laughs> Ithaca, where is that? Yeah. Now, Mike, can you put a Cornell student on that does have ill feelings towards Ithaca? Because I want to try to start a shouting match in a fight, if possible. Is there anybody from Cornell who has strong opinions about the white trash nature of Ithaca College? Okay. Hello. I like our Ithaca cohort here. I also work at a restaurant. Uh -huh. And, um... We found that people from Ithaca and Ithaca College tip far less than Cornell people. Jeez, they're cheapskates. They're a bunch of cheapskates. Now, Talia, what do you have to say to that? He's calling you cheap. He's okay. calling you cheap. Um, I worked at a location by Cornell and a location by Ithaca College, and the Ithaca College people always tip more. Ithaca College always tips more. Now, oh, Mask gosh. Man, she's saying you're a fucking liar. <laughs> what do you have to say about that? Oh, we have someone else here. Who's here? We've got a poor tipper who wants to speak. Okay, we have a poor tipper. We have a genuine poor tipper. Okay. Ithaca service is just bad enough to tip. So you're saying you tip less because of poor service? Just bad enough to tip a little bit more. Because they couldn't have the money to stop doing this shit. What? What is this guy's deal, Mike? <laughs> Mike, what is this guy's deal? I don't know. I just met him 20 minutes ago. <laughs> but he's Mike, the one coming in the clearest. Why did he come in so clear? I don't Nobody know. He, but his sound is not great. Okay, so does anybody else want to say anything else inflammatory to members of an opposing community or college? <laughs> uh, I will say the local Ithaca community has too far of a percentage of <laughs> okay, Mike, your sound is cutting out a little bit, so we're gonna. Let's see. Let's see. I don't know. Oh, what the shit, fuck vacation is going on? Jason's here. What? <laughs> what? No! No! And banana. What? Banana Man and Vacation Jason. Vacation Jason, what are you doing at, in Ithaca, New York? Ha-ha, <laughs> we have invaded your what? stupid <laughs> show. Ha-ha. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like this, Jason. How, what are you doing there? This is the smartest place we've ever been. <laughs> the funnest place you've ever been? 
We are surrounded by brainiacs and I feel inadequate. <laughs> well, that's usually the case in our studio, too. <laughs> What? No. <laughs> what, what? Vacation is What brings you to Ithaca? Uh, I thought I was going to Ithaca, the mythical Greek island known as Ithaca. <laughs> Turns Shit. out I'm in okay. the wrong Ithaca entirely. Okay. Banana Man, you love partying. Do you plan on partying with these college students tonight? Yeah, they don't know each other. That's not a okay, who can show Banana Man the best party? We can't, we can't drive anymore. Okay, I want to talk to our college students. Who can, who can show these guys where to party tonight? Who's down to party with Banana Man and Vacation Jason? Chaos just erupted at the library. Okay, good. You gotta give the mic back to Mike. What did you say? Go to the smartest place in all the universe. What is that rap music? I don't know. Let's give it to Mike. Mike, every time you talk, it's crystal clear and you have the voice of an angel. And every time someone else tries, the sound cuts out. I have very sultry tones. I pride myself on that. <laughs> Mike's the man. Shannon, do you have anything you would like to see go down in that library? Uh, yeah. I want you to find a copy of uh, Uncle Tom's Cabin. Oh, no. <laughs> and on the title page, I want you to cross out Tom and write at Spotastic. So it's Uncle at Spotastic's Mike. Cabin. Mike, I cannot condone this. Shannon is asking I, that you... I already have outstanding charges with the Cornell Library, so I would ask somebody else to take care of that. Oh, Shannon, you check it out? You Shannon just walk is asking up to for it? someone to deface a copy of Uncle Tom's Cabin. I don't who's know the biggest that shithead here? Does anybody want to take responsibility for that? Mike, just ask who's the biggest shithead here? Vacation <laughs> 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 Jason. Or, or, or if you can't find Uncle Tom's Cabin in like 50 Shades of Grey, make it 50 Shades of At Spotastic. 50 Shades of At Spotastic. Don't carry a copy of 50 Shades of Grey. Or if anybody wants to read... Or the Bible, cross out Jesus and write At Spotastic. All right. Anybody wants to get that, even if it's just getting one of those books to read us a selection from it, we'd love to explore okay, this does, library does further. Okay, does somebody want to go grab Uncle Tom's Cabin? <laughs> All right. Mike is asking for somebody to grab yes. Uncle We're Tom's Cabin. I cannot wait right to now. see where this ends. In the meantime, I am so, so psyched we have one of our musical guests. These guys are legends in the game. We are so privileged to have them here. Next week, they're doing their annual Hollow Mass show. It's out at Warsaw in Brooklyn with old friends of ours like Ted Leo and Shivering Brigade. Ladies and gentlemen, get up, let's dance, let's fucking throw down because it is our honor to welcome the World Inferno Friendship Society. Thank you very much for coming, everybody. Cross 
will cross the line You don't do things that I don't deserve I hear that all the time Of course, I deserve whatever I can David, are you okay? <laughs> Turn up now. Down. 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 All right, Banana Man, what'd you think of that? Fucking awesome! Fucking awesome. Anybody who couldn't see, the Cornell kids were dancing the whole time. All right, Murph, anything you want to happen up at the Cornell Library? Well, yeah, I'd like you to do some research for me. Okay, Murph, Mike, Murph's asking, asking for some research. I'll see what anything I can do. Anything Secret Society related. Okay. Okay. Uh, any secret society? Are there, is there two. a Cornell or Ithaca secret society, Mike? We have two on campus, I know what? of that. What? Talk to us, Mike. <laughs> okay, I forget the names. Does anybody know the names Quill of the secret? Quill and Dagger. Quill and Dagger. I've heard of that. And no. there's another one. And then there's, and then there's uh, Phoenix, which is a secret drinking society. And, uh, I'm all right with that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Phoenix like is cool. Yeah. Quill and Dagger, drinking. Murph. Well, and Dagger sounds dangerous. Oh, we got Uncle Tom Cabin. Here. Oh, hold on. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Uncle Tom's, hold cabin. On Uncle Tom's cabin just for a second. <laughs> you mean Uncle Atspotastic's cabin? <laughs> Uncle Atspotastic's cabin. You may be responsible for that. By the I end am of the responsible for that. I will not do that, but I will read from it if you so choose. Hold on, Mike. You will. I, will love, I would love that in just a second. But before that, I just want to remind people. Murph. Murph. Quill and Dagger, maybe they're up next on the list. But as it stands now, next Thursday, we're heading to Chapel Hill to take on the Order of Gimgol to finally finish. Yeah. <laughs> the secret is this, this has been going on very long, and I know you may look at me. I'm out of breath from dancing. That's fine. <laughs> but I promise you, I'm strong of heart. We got numbers down there. We're rolling four. deep. We got we some. Have four. We got four. four people. <laughs> we got four people. It's all we need. We got two cameras. That's even better. We're gonna capture everything when we come down there. We're gonna find put this, finally put this baby to bed. Oh, my word. Uh, yeah, it's gone on long enough. We know where you're gonna be. We know what you do every Halloween with your robes and your hoods, a little parade. We know all about it. We're gonna come down there. Four deep. <laughs> <laughs> and we're gonna finally put you to rest and expose what's been going on down there in Chapel Hill. I feel like we owe it to everybody. I mean, People have been hear hearing me rant about this for years now. They're like, when are you going to finally finish this? The end of the month. We're finishing. We got it. October 31st. We're coming to Chapel Hill. Give go me, Murph, Brian Miller, Banana Man. We'll Banana be Man. there. You've got to be ready. you got to be ready. All right. Mike, I believe, I believe when we left off, you were about to read a, a random selection from the classic <laughs> Uncle Tom's Cabin. Okay, uh, right now we've got, uh, what does the Greek letter L mean when it comes to numbers? I believe it's L I. 50, I believe it's 50. Okay, so this is 41, chapter 41. Chapter 41. Okay. Cornell How student. long do you want me to do this? <laughs> you, are, you are an Ivy League student. <laughs> Murph just pointed out. 30 seconds. 30 okay. seconds. Shannon's asking for 30 seconds from chapter 41. And complete okay, silence here we go. in the audience. Complete silence. Two days after, a young man drove a light wagon up through the avenue of China trees and throwing the reins hastily on the horse's neck, sprang out and inquired for the owner of the place. It was George Shelby, and to show how he came to be there, we must go back to our story. The letter of Miss Ophelia to Mrs. Shelby had, by some unfortunate accident, been detained for a month or two at some remote post office before it had reached its destination. And of course, before it was received, Tom was already lost among the distant swamps of the Red River. Mike, you're the funniest person I've ever met. Oh, oh, yeah! Yeah! Mike just put a 
note in there, ask whoever's reading it just to follow me on Twitter. Yes, Mike, that's a fair compromise. Just we don't need to vandalize the book, but yeah. please, let's Thank say. Thank you for reading Uncle Tom's Cabin. No, no one appreciates Shimmy, how would you anymore. feel about this? Yeah. As many books as possible tonight. Follow at Spotastic. And if we can get pen and paper up there, Mike, however many notes we can have, we can put inside books that say follow at Spotastic on Twitter. I would love if hundreds of those were distributed. And, and hundreds of people who we take out books. We can certainly do that in the restrooms. What do you think of that? Back people are willing to d vandalize the restrooms. You're Wait, okay. People are willing to write on the restroom walls, follow at Spotastic. Sure, I was yeah, never I there. I won't get in trouble. <laughs> Shannon is into that. Shannon is into that. All right, Mike. Okay, we've just gotten our first noise complaint, by the way. That's exciting. <laughs> Somebody return this book to where I want to play. Okay, Bethany has a challenge for you, Mike. Bethany, what's going on? First of all, okay. I'd like to say, Bethany H., stop pretending to be me. Someone I'm not in the, that interesting. Someone in the chat <laughs> pretending to be Bethany. That's a dick move. Uh, also, I, I challenge you guys to play the penis game until someone gets kicked Whoa, out. Whoa, Mike. Oh, Bethany's oh, asking for the penis out. game. Oh. <laughs> and Mike, they all I ask is this. If you do get kicked out, Try to make sure that the person kicking you out is featured on camera. <laughs> Mike, Mike, I would get myself right. kicked out right. playing this game, so. Okay, it looks like Banana Man is ready to start the penis game. Penis. Oh, get louder. Oh, God. <laughs> penis! Oh, God. <laughs> we now have 15 people shouting uh -huh. the word penis in a library hundreds of miles away. <laughs> penis! <laughs> <laughs> Get kicked out! Penis! Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. <clears throat> Bethany, you of all people have created this. <laughs> Is this a random person who's chosen to just come to play the penis? penis! <laughs> all right, well played, well played, Mike. I have a question. I know college students today struggle with this. I want to talk to anybody there who abuses Adderall. Do you have any Adderall abusers? I mean, I'm right here. You're, Mike, you yourself, you get into the Adderall thing. We got one some of them Wait a second, my parents are watching. Somebody else take this. <laughs> okay, this guy. Hello, who are you? Yeah, uh, I'm uh, Mike's, Mike uh, uh, Holter. Okay, so you... Uh, you, you you just fed us a fake name, that's fair. Talk to us about your Adderall abuse. Uh, let's see, it's going pretty well right now, I don't know. <laughs> now what types of things do you use Adderall for? Um, recreation, uh, masturbation. Masturbation? Uh, <laughs> yeah. You can't focus enough to masturbate. <laughs> human fish has, hold on, human fish has an opinion on that. Human fish, what's on your mind as this man brings up Adderall masturbation? No, uh, no. Uh, <laughs> no, no. <laughs> no, no. Just, no, no. Wait, take us through this. How does Adderall help masturbation? <laughs> How does Adderall help your masturbation? It, it makes it harder. <laughs> and you enjoy that? Go on it and talk about why you're Potentially. Yeah, Matt, Murph, Murph is an experienced yeah. methamphetamine user. Yes, and I find it hard to, I mean, you're rock hard and ready to go, but it takes forever to finish. And you're by yourself. What are you trying to, what are you trying to prove? <laughs> okay. All right. That guy's just wandering away. <laughs> Done. No one wants to talk about it. He okay. Has a very nice face. <laughs> Bethany said that Adderall abuser has a nice face. <laughs> I think it's a weird, very weird compliment. Anyone else? Mrs. Bragg, anything you want to go down I, at the library? I thought maybe a group of young men could get together and consensually look at each other's dicks. Wait, hold on, what's this? Use your voice. Wait, 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 you're annoyed. It's like 11.30 on a Wednesday night. You've got like prelims and like stressful stuff going on and this is just like not... Like the status show, right? it's just like not happening. Okay, okay. now how do you respond to accusations that you're a fucking buzzkill? <laughs> what can that? I recommend you taking a vacation? <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. I was really aggressive. Hold on, I apologize. I apologize. Come back. Come back. Let's do this. 
Hold I, I, I have a question. You are for very, him. very strong. You are very strong, and I apologize that we're disturbing you. We're only on the air for another half an hour. He's already walked away. <laughs> frankly, <laughs> frankly, I don't apologize. Okay, what about? <laughs> Mike. Michael Cornell, Cheers. not into it, not Cheers. into the apologizing. All right, so wait, me Mike, Messenger Bag <laughs> has requested, we did an episode, a classic episode, I think many people point to as the height of our intelligence called uh, looking, <laughs> at, looking at Dicks in the Dark, a new low, where we looked at each other's dicks. Messenger Bag's, <laughs> Messenger Bag's wondering if any young men there would like to replicate the experience and look at each other's dicks. <laughs> I don't want to ruin yeah. the goodwill I have in this community by showing my less than impressive dick. <laughs> so, does anybody else want to jump in on this? He's the best. You don't have to show it. You just have to show it to each other. You're not showing dick on camera. Okay. Well, yeah, why don't you two look at each other's dicks? Can, can, can they go in a bathroom stall, check it out, and report back? Go yeah. in, yeah, just yeah. remember the details, and describe them to us go in go great... Check it out, come back. At Spotastic on the bathroom wall. Right at Spotastic on each other's dicks. <laughs> Okay, wonderful. Now, Mike, that guy seemed upset. I am feeling guilty. I'm feeling a teensy bit guilty, but I mean, this is the cafe. He can easily go into the library part where there's no noise at all. Hell yeah, Mike. Hell yeah. I no longer feel guilty, Mike. <laughs> Let's go to the phones. We got a call. Oh, this is interesting. Nick in Toronto on line one. Nick in Toronto. Say hi to Mike in the library. Hi there, hello. Nick, hello. welcome. How are you? Uh, not too bad. How are you? I'm good. Now, I hear that people have been gathering in a bar in Toronto to watch the show. Do you know anything about this? That's, that's right. Well, me and, my, me and my friends have been trying to make that happen. We have a friend of ours who works at a bar, and she usually lets us take over the sound system. Oh, that's awesome. And listen to it. But she wasn't working tonight, so we just all got together at a house, and we're watching it on a projector. Yes. Uh, now, how many people, how many people get together? I think that's the coolest shit in the world. Well, you know, it's, uh, it's uh, you know, anywhere from uh, 6 to 15 right now. Uh, next week... We want to reach out to the Toronto Chris Gethard Show fan community, and we're going to be doing it at a bar called the Ovington at 11 p.m. sharp. We're going to be screening. It's, but it's the place I work, and it's, it's my birthday, so they're going to let me do it. So your there, birthday, no you're screening what. it. Say the, name of the, uh, say the name of the bar again? The Ozington Bar. Ozington. Okay, and how does this sound? Probably Wait, not next time. week, but the next time we time. do a Skype dual location show, I think it should be from Toronto, Canada. Woo! Yeah! yeah. Amazing. Okay, so Nick, let us know how it goes. Happy birthday. Thank you for organizing that. That's the coolest shit in yeah. the entire world. In the meantime, yeah. is there any questions you have for Cornell University, wow. Ithaca University students, anything you want to see happen in the library? We're good. I kind of actually just, uh, me and uh, my, you know, my friends, uh, uh, Carson and Brendan and, and uh, Nikita and Mike here, we wanted to see Vacation Jason do the Coconut Berry Lemon Tree rap. As, you know, just as disruptively as possible. Okay, <laughs> okay. Now, Vacation Jason, people are asking for an acapella rendition of Coconut Berry Lemon Tree done, quote, as disruptively as possible. That's right, yeah. Do what as disruptively as possible? His rap, his Coconut Berry Lemon Tree rap. Rap, yeah, yeah Oh, rap. good God. I'm okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, so everybody knows the four elements that make up a vacation, right? It's the coconut, the berry, the lemon, and the tree. Coconut, berry, lemon, tree. Coconut, berry, lemon, tree. Oh, no. Coconut, berry, lemon, tree. Let the island flavors set you free. Coconut, berry, lemon, tree. Mike is coconut, looking very scared. Berry, Jason, anybody else things you want to see happen in this library? Anybody else? They say they're in a cafe, right? Oh, yeah, they're, okay, Mike, you are in a cafe. Can That's we, correct. Are there people, is there anyone doing homework that they need help with their oh, homework or something? We'd be down to help, we'd be yeah, down to help. Ask people. anybody if they need help with their homework. Yes, please, anyone who needs help with their homework, we're willing to do it here from New York City. Or if anybody has questions about New York City for us, we've put you guys on the spot a lot, but we're willing to take your questions or challenges as well.
Was, did somebody just ask them? <laughs> okay. Oh, they're dicks. Oh, yeah, we can report okay. back on the dick situation. Okay, let's... <laughs> okay, so these two college students have recently looked at each other's dicks. Each one is now going to take a turn describing the other's dick. Stone pony. I'll go first. John was, uh, was I would say, definitely above average length. Like, good length. Very, very clean. Uh, Let's be clean. A guy shut it down. Yeah. A guy has shut it down. Mike, Mike, we're now. We just shut down. We all just witnessed. We all just witnessed, just witnessed the madman. Mike tried to. Forty-year-old Goosey, can you take us back in time so that moment doesn't replicate? No. <laughs> 40 year old Goosey's time powers have held him. Okay, we have 25 minutes left in the episode. A man just walked up to Mike's computer, slammed it shut. A fight may be breaking out. We may have caused an incident. Shannon, who Sweet. Okay, Mike, Mike, what happened? Mike, 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 Mike New York City is abuzz with concern for your yeah, safety. For your is everything all right? Hold on, I just lost your audio. Who, Mike, is everything Mike, is okay? Everything we saw a maniac slam your computer shut. Uh, some gentleman is extremely angry. I think we need to take the volume situation down just a tad. We're willing to do that. We're willing to do that if you are. Okay. So then let's have those gentlemen. Okay. I quiet. think we just got an okay. We got an okay? Yes. As far as what? You're allowed I mean, to stay? No, no, that's just a guess. We'll see. I mean, that's half the fun, right? If we get booted out. <laughs> Holy shit, Mike, how old are you? 21. Mike, you have the confidence of a fucking man who has lived many years. No joke, right? Yeah, I like this dude. Mike, you I have the fucking that. suave. Co Do you just clean up? Yeah. I don't know. You will. Well, you, get a full you don't know. My body. You, you will. There's Vince ladies in our studio audience set. signaling that you're making them hot and bothered. <laughs> this is true. Oh. My address is 523 Baker Tower, Ithaca, New York. Hey, you got his real address. Mike, another smooth baller move. Uh, uh, Mike, I'm going to do a test here. And ladies, Mike can't see you. Keep this in mind. By a round of applause, ladies, who would hook up with Mike from Cornell? Oh, I like what I'm hearing. It sounds like about well, 15, let's, let's 15 take ladies in our audience are down, Christ Mike sake. from Cornell. Okay. <laughs> let's, let's try to get that. Let's okay. get those dicks. Okay, yeah, let's have those gentlemen describe let's each other's dicks. Down. Sorry, where was I before you were rudely cut off? You had um, said that John. Uh, said it was nice. It was a clean a long, dick. You said it was a long, yeah. clean dick. Yeah, he's very proud of that. He, Above average, clean dick. Yeah, he, uh, I, like it was like long and and very clean. Like I would say, it was like the cleanest dick I've ever seen. <laughs> okay. Uh, right, uh, what am I missing? I didn't. His dick I don't know, dirty. man. Uh, Okay. He kept like pulling it, like I was like really shy, and he kept being like, "Look at it." So, <laughs> he wanted you to see it. Okay, that's great. Now, do you want to describe his dick? Uh, yeah, sure. It was uh, it was not uh, clean. <laughs> uh, what does that mean, sir? How do you respond to accusations that you have a dirty dick? <laughs> so, Jake, Jake's not shaving for four months, apparently everywhere. And, and oh, because I'm going to culinary school. Because he's going to culinary school. <laughs> <And> <laughs> Wait, hold on, Jake. Jake, you're like a, going like to culinary school, so you're growing like as much body and facial hair as possible. What do you ask? Do you have as much body and facial hair as possible? Well, I'm going some. I'm going to school in January to a place where I can't have a beard, and so I decided I wasn't going to oh. shave for four months, and then I just decided, decided why not the entire body. And you trust be me, you. his dick is like real hairy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. I went to last weekend, so I'm okay. Okay, Shannon O'Neill has lost all enthusiasm for this conversation. <laughs> Shannon, you just mumbled, what are we doing? You don't often mumble that on this show. I just love it. <laughs> it but I'm also like, what are we doing? Because we all love this. So what know. are we doing? Okay. <laughs> is any other last Sending. minute details you guys would like to tell us about each other's dicks? Do you feel no, differently feel towards close. each other now that you've experienced each other's dicks? Um, I feel a lot closer to Jake. Like, I feel like... This is like a brought our friendship to a new level, which is really good. Yeah, like I'm gonna go see John tomorrow and just be like, what's up, I saw your dick, man. Yeah. And I'm just That's gonna... how I feel about these three gentlemen right here. <laughs> <laughs> now, oh, Murray, wait, I know 
I know. Wait, John, I know you, right, John? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I taught you. <laughs> you did teach me. Now that, now that your face is... I know John, too, don't yeah, I? Yeah, now that John's face is coming in clear. Oh, uh, yeah, I didn't want to be that guy to be like, hey, you guys, you might know me. <laughs> Wait, John, you're, you're, the, is, you're the John who's friends with my cousin, right? Yeah, that's me. Yeah. <laughs> that's friends with my cousin. Yeah. Thanks for looking at someone's dick for us. Now, Murph, you recently <laughs> tweeted a picture of your dick to all your followers. I did. I did tweet out a dick pic uh, this past weekend. And, find it. and it's still well, No, no, it is up, but uh, Twitter emailed me today. <laughs> and it's perfectly fine to have your genitals on Twitter, but they now are flagging all of my photos as they go up. As, like, someone has to... There's screens, so they're, they're not, not just showing up work. on someone's feed. Yeah, not safe for work. And they're like, if you want this removed, email us. We'll talk about it. And we'll see what you're planning on posting in the future. <laughs> so Twitter, I'm going to have so many cock pics out there. So <laughs> let's just filter the whole feed. All right. Messenger bag, any dick pics out there floating in the world? Probably, yeah. You're, <laughs> you are a dick pic sender. Uh, I mean, I'm not like, hey, here's my dick. But people have asked, and I'm willing to send that. <laughs> so if people ask, you're willing to send. Yeah, that's like my rule. <laughs> Do these people have to be personal friends? Or let's say, like, someone follows you on Twitter and then tweets you, follow me back and DM me, and I'll say, I want right. that. Yeah, you're not going to see my dick. That's the best one. So there are Send us one. We'll yep. show people in the library. What's that? Send us one. We'll show people in the library. If you get one with Banana Man right now, he yes. will show your dick to the people in the library. Do you have a dick pic on your phone that you can send? I'm not sure. OK. <laughs> I just want to point out that the chat rats were shouting dildo at the beginning of the show, and it's, and it's completely this... appropriate. All right, now, Banana Man, do you feel like you're partying enough? I know you love partying. You're on a college not campus. Enough. Not enough. I would love to crowd surf somewhere in this library. You want to crowd surf in the library? Mike, can we make that happen, or is that going to be a kick-out situation? It's a little sparsely possible. Oh, wait, what? Oh, wait. Banana Man trying okay. to crowd surf in the library. Now, Mike. Yes. Who was that dude that got real mad and shut your computer down? He's still sitting about 12 feet behind us <laughs> with a pained expression on his face. I have a question for him. Okay, Human Fish has a question okay. for that guy. Oh, no. Banana Man is now crowd surfing. <laughs> Banana Man is now crowd surfing. As he disrupts a lot of everything. Okay, Banana Man now crowd surfing. Human Fish, what's your, what's your question for that mad guy? You have to get, you have to get an answer. Okay, you have to get an answer okay. to this question. Mark. Okay. Dane Cook, Dane uh, Cook versus Great Dane Cook. <laughs> Human okay, fish is asking that someone that. approaches and bothers that already bothered man to ask him what he prefers. Dane <laughs> Cook versus <laughs> Great <laughs> Dane <laughs> Cook. Mike, is anyone willing to do that? Is anyone willing to our further agitate a furious man? He's real mad. I don't want him to smash my laptop. <laughs> okay. Mike has serious concerns. I'm, I'm oh, going to have guy? to take a pass on that one. I'm sorry, Stop human fish. To do it. No, that's okay, Mike. Hey, Mike, you've Stop stepped up what? above and beyond. <laughs> okay, Mike, I want to know uh, what else What else is going on? What else can you show us? Let's push things. Let's push things. I will get punched if I do it. What's that, Jason? I've just been told I will 100% be punched in the face if I do this. By that guy? Yes, he's a fighter, apparently, whatever that is. Jason, he has told you, I will punch you in the face. No, other people have told me that, but he's got a real big frown. <laughs> okay, well, we're not, we're a very positive show. We don't want to torment this guy just to torment him, but if there is any way, tell him we won't be aggressive, but we would love to talk. If there's any way he'd be willing to come on, I'll personally apologize for all the chaos. I'll do that straight up. I would just love to talk to him. Okay. <laughs> Give it a shot, Jason. Oh, good God. You have such a nice nose, Jason. You don't want to ruin that. Can we see him when it happens? I may so get punched in the face. Do you want to play his favorite music as you walk up? Say it again? <laughs> what? Are you, uh, vacation Jason, try not to get punched in the face, but if you do, do it on camera. That is my goal. Yeah, Are we able to watch if we do a if we uh, people no, part? They no, because they Wi-Fi. Please, please, please. I really, I no. know, man. People are begging Vacation Jason to not approach this this guy. Jason, 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 do it, do it. I don't want him to get into it again. Do it, do it. Oh no, he looks so hesitant. Oh no, oh no, it looks. 
so scary. No, don't do it, guys. No, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. He's right there. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. He politely objected. Well, he did punch, but he said, trust me. And then that's the last thing he said. Okay, that's totally, totally fair. A moment of high tension in the Cornell Library as we're almost causing fights. Bless you, Julia, who's sneezing in the front row. That fucking dancing last time awesome. was the best it's been in months. So yes. good, right, Messenger so back? Are you about to throw down? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, we're about people to throw down again. People are stepping on people. People were actually walking on other human beings. I cannot wait Without to see what happens. permission. If we can even go bigger. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, next week, remember, Hollow Mass Warsaw in Brooklyn. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome the World Inferno Friendship Society. Thank you, Thank you very much. One of our keepers just said I brought down that whole line of jokes by making fun of your name on the internet yesterday. It might have been. It was, it was, it was a totally cool joke. We're going to do a new one. I hope you guys like it. Floating with disaster. Not disaster. Sooner you'll go home. Get that hope. With dresses and nicotine stains. Damning the consequences that consequently damn Hope with breath fruits. Don't you get do no Clearing up with disaster Wait up disaster Waking up with hope Good morning hope Be more polite to strangers Than to your oldest friends Linking over embraces And sneaking off before the end Listen to lies and repeating Repetitious old Your truth At this fact, you know what I'll say. Say! 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 We got a lot more lucky, we just picked up our food. Picked up a few more tracks, but we'll try to choose. If I made you cut your finger, told me that I'm still alive. It could have been anyone, you know I am or anyone. Don't come around to a track, to the to the excellent spouses. You know, she always had a touch on you. I'm always a suit. Did you see who just walked in at this pet funeral world thing? What do you do when no one recognizes you? Where do you walk in? Explaining yourself to the next of kin at this pet funeral world thing. Society that was amazing. Thank you guys so much for being here. Truly an honor, our privilege to have the World Inferno Friendship Society along for the ride. All right, what's going on over in Cornell, Mike? Uh, 
I don't know. Does anybody else want to answer that question? Keep on moving around. Showing yeah. you guys alive. Let's see how far we can go before your Wi-Fi cuts out. We only have a few minutes left, so take us on a little tour if that's okay, okay Mike. And if we lose you, I want to thank you so much. You are a charming, charming right, fellow. Thank you very much. And thank you I for organizing this. all We're this. We're going to have to lose audio, so I don't know if we'll be able to hear you too well. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. But just take us on a little tour. Let's see as many people as we can. Let's just everybody creepily follow behind the computer as we all go on this tour together. Okay. Right, here we go. Can somebody grab my back? <laughs> and that's the whole tour. No, no, he's back. All right, here we go. This is the cafe. Got people studying. Totally annoyed at us, which I understand. Uh, here are people waiting for drinks. Oh, yeah. You want to see the jerks? <laughs> they right there. I understand why they're angry. But still, like, chill out a little bit. Be cool. <laughs> yeah. Uh, here's some dudes having a normal conversation. Let's see if we can talk to them. Yeah, let's get in on that. Do you want to be on TV right now? Uh, for what? Yeah, for We're on a public access show in New York City. That's not pretty cool. Yeah, thank you. Well, what are you guys doing tonight? Uh, I'm just studying for an exam. <laughs> Which exam? Biochemistry. Why did you, are you taking biochemistry? <laughs> <laughs> um, so I'm, I have to. I'm a pre-med. Okay, this is pretty interesting. I mean, I guess. Uh, you can make more money as a dominatrix than you can as a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> you used to do some cursory Google research. Have a nice drink, guys. <laughs> okay, Mike, you're killing it. You're doing great. This is exactly what we wanted out of this episode. <laughs> got people quietly studying. If we stay here too long, we'll get kicked out. So we got to whisper. <laughs> Penis. Penis. Sorry, guys, I won't be able to hear what you're saying. Okay, that's okay, Mike. You just do you. The floor is yours. Penis. You want to go to the books? Okay, we're going to the books. Going to the books. <laughs> <laughs> Vacation Jason and Ben no, Man leading the charge to the book stacks. Oh, okay, is that it? Has the Wi-Fi taken it? As far as it's gonna go, or we might come back to life. Hey, they got their dildo. <laughs> Where? That's a dildo. <laughs> it looks like the Wi-Fi may have cut out, and that is all for our friend, ladies and gentlemen, Mike from Cornell. <laughs> so the of the library. We'll see in the next few minutes if we can manage to get Mike back. But I think we all learned a lot. I think there were high tension moments. Mm -hmm. There was an actual maniac that approached. <laughs> How did that maniac sneak past all 15 people and get to that computer? I don't know. He's probably a masked individual. They were talking about their dick, so they were kind of like That's mesmerized probably it. by that. All right, we're going to keep trying for Mike. But in the meantime, any, anything, else, uh, any, anything else that needs to be aired? Any, any other messages that need to be sent regarding this episode? Or otherwise. Paula Dean wrote a blog about sandwich night foods. That cannot, uh, not ours. Not Paula ours. Dean wrote a sandwich based blog. <laughs> yeah. It has nothing to do with sandwich Late night. Sandwich night. Is that true? That is true. I just oh, opened oh, it. Oh, Mike is back. So we got to go one more flight of stairs up to get to the <laughs> <laughs> one, more flight of, one more flight of stairs. Again. Hold on, we're running. Okay. <laughs> Banana Man is yelling, run. And <laughs> Mike is running. This is a fascinating close-up of Mike's chest. Here are the books. We're in the books. <laughs> Vacation Jason's looking at books, being a fucking asshole. He's such an asshole. Hey, Vacation Jason's looking at books. It looks like there are there any other human beings? <laughs> okay, Vacation Jason's doing weird shit with a chair for no reason. Banana man, banana man climbs the, sta the stack banana stairs. Banana man's climbing stack stairs. Both Banana Man and Vacation Jason true to form, trying a little too hard. <laughs> Anything else? Okay, Mike. I think we were all more excited about the book idea, but it really is just books. <laughs> and Mike has frozen. Mike from Cornell, ladies and gentlemen. That is all she wrote for Mike from Cornell. Now, Murph, when we go down and we see old Gimgul, what do you, you think is going to happen here? Oh, he's done. Oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Garbage. <laughs>
Feels like we're playing Doom. It does. <laughs> in 1994. Yeah. <laughs> With 1994 <laughs> graphics. <laughs> yeah, Mike, slow down and show us some shit, man. We're all getting motion sick. Oh, sorry. Well, I mean, it's just fucking books. Yo, this is like a cavern of knowledge. <laughs> There's no human beings there. Oh, wait. Oh, you got a spill. You want to close up on the spill? No. The <laughs> hardest spill of all time. Mike, I think we're trying to squeeze too much juice out of this orange, man. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, who's Would this guy? Like anything in New York City? Good luck on your stuff. Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah, let's talk to this guy. Do you want to talk to us for just a quick second? Yeah, I guess. Okay, you're on public access in New York City. What do you think about that? I'm flattered. <laughs> Mike, ask him what his anyone. dreams are. Status? Yeah. Sorry, Chris? What are his dreams? Um. <laughs> um. Let's start with what are you studying? Uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to move there. That was a pretty good movie. It was. Okay, so you want to be a biochemist or something? I want to be a doctor, actually. That's doctor. fine. I have a terrible doctor. circulatory system. What do you think you can do about that? Uh, nothing right now, but... Um... <laughs> what do you recommend to treat cardiac arrhythmia without paying any money? <laughs> Working out, probably. Uh, that's a dicey proposition. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. All right, so just continue on my path to destruction, I guess. I mean, if that's... I mean, yeah. Okay. We're getting, we're moving on from that guy, that future doctor. There's another glass oh. of juice in that orange. Yeah, it'll be real quick. It's like a <laughs> it'll okay. be super quick, please. Chris, okay. talk to this guy. Okay, hello, uh, sir. How's it going? Nice to meet you. It's very, very nice to meet you. You're currently being broadcast all over the world. If you had to send a message to the world, what would your core message be? You as a man. <laughs> uh, I'd have to say. Uh, banana suits are great, and uh, get out there, spread the word. And party! Party time! <laughs> Cornell? Banana suits are great. Sir, wait, I want to talk to that guy. Oh, wait, Mike, you've entered a shadowy land. <laughs> you've entered a dark and shadowy land. Okay, Mike, we've only got one minute left. We've got to end on something strong, so find somebody and let's go big, Mike. Okay, one more person. One more person, one more okay. person Mike. One minute to go, Mike. I believe in you. Mike, you have crushed it so far. You are charming. You lose him. There's no are you one. there? Oh, Mike, this can't be how it ends. <laughs> well, looks like that's how it ends. <laughs> Seconds to get him back. John Leguizamo versus the dog version of John Leguizamo. Who wins? The dog version of John Leguizamo. to a television audience in New York City? Hello. Uh, TV. <laughs> what would you like to say? It's banana costume. <laughs> That's the second company. The mask? I found it on a garbage can a week ago. Mike, did the guy wearing the mask know you found that in the garbage? <laughs> I did not disclose that detail. No. <laughs> Mike, we've been off the air for almost two full minutes. I want to thank you so much for doing this. You're the fucking best. No problem. Mike from Cornell, ladies and gentlemen. Yay. And everybody else, please. <laughs> Mike, when you call, next time you're in New York City, you promise to come visit us? <laughs> I'm sure he'll say yes, right? Yeah, I'm sure All right. he will.